All right, now we've got some incredible AI features on Samsung Galaxy phones. And most of these features process the data either on device or on the cloud. So whenever you execute an AI related feature, the device will send the data for cloud processing. Of course, some of the features will work on device as well. Now, if you are someone who do not want to send the data to the cloud, then Samsung offers a very important toggle on the AI feature settings. And that toggle is called process data only on the device. Now, in this video, I want to talk about this very important feature should you enable it and if you enable it which AI features will work on your device which AI features requires cloud all that we are going to discuss in this video but before we go ahead if you're interested in watching these kind of interesting contents then uh, you should go ahead subscribe to the channel I post a lot of contents on the new updates new features new applications tips and tricks for your Android phones or Samsung Galaxy phones there will be loads of useful contents on the channel so go ahead subscribe and become a part of Apex community and give this video a like if you find this video informative and if you're interested in this wallpaper you can go ahead and download this amazing uh, wallpaper application called wallbyte it's available on that application i'll also leave a link for this wallpaper and the link for this application you will be able to download some fantastic desktop wallpapers as well as mobile phone wallpapers on this application now let's go ahead and talk about some important things that you need to know as far as the on-device processing of AI is concerned. Now let me just go to these settings here. Here we have got Galaxy AI. Let me tap on this. Now as you can see here, we have got a list of features, call assist, chat assist, interpreter, note assist, transcript assist, browsing assist, photo assist, etc. And right there at the bottom, we have got this option called process data only on device. Now here is something important I would like to read out for you guys. It says for added privacy, you can prevent collection and processing of your data for Galaxy AI's advanced intelligence features. Online processing provides the best result and is required for some advanced intelligence features. So this obviously means that we are sending data to Samsung Cloud where it gets processed and the results will be sent back to the phone. So most of these features work on cloud. So the online processing is very essential to provide best results and uh, required for some advanced intelligent features. So without cloud processing, obviously we can't execute all of these features, but if you do not want to send data to cloud and if you're not really worried about these AI features, then you can enable this specific toggle, which will process the information only on the device. But does all these features work if you have enabled this uh, toggle? That is what we are gonna take a look at now. Now let me tell you which are the features which get processed on the device and which features don't work without the cloud processing. The first one is call assist. You will get real time translation during calls. Uh, this feature is going to work. This does not require cloud uh, processing. It does not require internet. All we need is the language packs. As you can see, I'll tap on languages. You can download the language packs here. There are many language packs available here. So when you speak on the call, it will automatically get translated on the device using these language packs. So this does not require internet. This does not require uh, online or cloud processing. The next feature is chat assist. This works on the Samsung keyboard. This can translate messages in select chat and text messaging applications, compose full text based on a snippet or request you have uh, written, change your writing style and uh, the spelling and grammar suggestions. Now let's go ahead and check out whether this feature works or not. Let me open Gmail here. Right, we have got Samsung keyboard here. Now uh, let me tap on AI icon here. Now we've got composer, writing style, spelling and grammar. Now let me type something over here. Let me just pick it up from one of the notes here. I'll just paste it on Gmail for processing this uh, data. Now let's tap on AI icon here. We've got writing styles. Let me tap on writing style here. It selects the entire uh, text here. There is no internet connection enabled here. You can see there's no Wi-Fi or data here. Now it is processing this data on the device. Let's see, yeah, it is giving us the results here. This is the original and then we have got professional casual and all that. So this has worked on the device. It did not require uh, the internet connection. Now let me try something else. Let's try Composer. It says turn off process data only on device option. To use this advanced intelligence feature, you need to turn off process data only on device in settings. So this will not work on the keyboard. Now let me uh, try the third option, spelling and grammar. Yes, this works on the device. So some features will work on device and for some features, the data has to be sent to a Samsung Cloud for processing it further. So uh, the chat assist, some of them work, some features don't work. Next one is interpreter. Now interpreter feature will work on the device because it, uh, it is based on the language pack that you installed. Let me just uh, enable the interpreter feature here. I'll tap on the toggle 
as you can see we have got the conversation mode right here i selected this language here this is a language pack i have downloaded you can add more languages so uh, it all completely depends on the language packs so the moment you start talking it will translate it on the device let's try this hey what's up how are you doing today you see it is translating on the device even this feature the interpreter does not require internet the next one is note assist let me just quickly show you this let's open the notes application i have got this note over here let me tap on the ai icon i'll tap on summarize i'll tap on generate summary it says turn off process data only on device next let's tap on auto format headers and bullets generate text layouts again it is asking us to enable the data correct spelling show corrections again for some reason it is asking me to turn on the data it should have corrected the spellings on the device itself is what i feel but anyways that is not happening here and translate tap on generate translation the translation will happen on the device on the samsung notes application again this is based on the language pack that we have so uh, you will have to download the language pack as long as you have that language pack downloaded it will process the data it will uh, translate the language into another language so this happens on device so even on the note assist many features don't work just one feature the uh, translate feature will work on note assist then we've got transcript assist this is again based on the language pack this is going to work let me just uh, show you this voice recorder let me pick any of the voice recordings here i got transcribe option let me tap on this you see it is working on the device it is processing this and transcribing it on the device itself next let's go to the uh, next feature that is browsing assist let's open the internet application of course if you're browsing something your data will be on that's obvious uh, now let's say let's uh, turn off the data on this page and let's tap on ai icon here let's tap on translate on the top it says english uh, show original tap on translate i'll select a different language here you see automatically it has translated this entire page into hindi this means that it is processing the data on the device now let's select summarize you see it says turn off process data only on device so summarize will not work so some features work some features don't work on the device next we have got photo assist this is an important feature let's open the gallery here i'll open any of the images here tap on edit tap on ai button here it says turn off process data only on the device so even this doesn't work so this feature this is a very important feature for a lot of you guys who want to uh, edit photos uh, this will require internet the process happens only on the cloud the next one is drawing assist obviously drawing assist requires the internet it doesn't work on device then we have got a couple of more features here photo ambient wallpaper this requires internet and then we have got health assist some features may work on device on health assist now depending on your requirement you can enable or disable this toggle if you want to use the ai features to its fullest potential then obviously you have to disable this and let the device send the data to cloud and process it there and send the results back on the device which happens in a jiffy so this has to be disabled if you want to use the ai to its maximum potential now if you ask me i keep Keep this toggle turned off because these features are really cool and i would love using some of them at least but if i enable this option i cannot use all these features it cannot process everything on device so i need to keep this disabled now i'm not really worried about data which is being collected on samsung cloud because i seldom use these ai features and i don't really send sensitive data or the data which is really important so i am quite okay with this but it depends on you now if you do not want to send your data to cloud then you can keep this uh, option disabled let me know what are your thoughts about this do you want to keep this enabled or disabled drop a comment are you someone who use these ai features drop a comment and let me know do you think these ai features make sense are they really important should they improve it should they bring more ai features like this share your thoughts in the comment section below and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informative that's all i want to share with you guys thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye